What's going on, you guys? It is 2.23 in the afternoon, and today, for lunch, I'm talking low because Bridge is still asleep. Today, for lunch, I'm going to make burgers. I've been telling people for a while that I'm going to make them on camera. Haven't done it. Filmed a video last night, and it didn't work out, really. <laughs> It's not that the burgers were bad or anything, it's just the fact that I fucking kept forgetting that I was making a video, so I missed all the steps, I didn't do anything, I didn't show you how to do anything, I didn't tell you anything, so I fucking scrapped it. But here, yeah, take a look at a piece of it. Found a complication and it's hard so long, cause now he's got maybe just two weeks to live, mama, we're all full of lies. Mama, what man for the flies? You ready for this? I'm making a coffee your size, Mama. This one? And here it is. Oh, shit. Wrong part. I guess I just wanted to show off that I'm the best singer in the history of the world. So, anyway, here's another part. Mom's here. She, I made her some food. Made her a burger and some fries. I made her a banana split. How was your How was your day, Mom? Fucked up. My day was Fucked shit. up. Yeah, we had. This is probably the worst day ever. I woke up with a pounding fucking headache. She had a flat tire. Majorly flat. They, there was a water leak down there. And it took like yeah. four gas stations to get to before I get to. Yes, the we went to four different gas stations before we finally found an air thing that worked. I I thought we don't have any change, so I bought a freaking three musketeer with a fucking debit card. And hopefully I could get the cash back option. And you couldn't, so I just took it, chucked it across the fucking parking lot. I don't want a fucking Three Musketeer. I wanted them fucking change. So anyway, the first thing to a good burger is the meat. Now my meat is 7327, which means there's a good mixture of beef and fat. Because I'm a fat fuck. And I like my burgers to be fat fuck too. In fact, I'm going to make two burgers and they will both be doubles. And I'll eat them both because I'm a fat bastard. So, whoa, almost dropped the fucking meat. I still would have used it. So anyway, 7327. It's a nice mixture. You don't want, if you get anything too high, it's, uh, I like it because there's a lot of juice. It'll turn out fast food style. So anyway, that's the first step. The next step is pattying your meat. Now, get a nice little ball, and I, what I like to do is get it as thin as I possibly can here in my hands. Because I like my patties to be flat. I don't like thick hockey pucks for burgers, so I'm going to keep doing this right here until it shapes and it's small. Then I'll put it down here on this plate. As you can see it right here. And I'll just continue to work it here on the plate. I'll just continue, and it's gonna be this flat piece of meat. Now I'm sure there's some sort of small dick jokes there that you guys are gonna pull off. And oh yeah, your dick's small and flat. It's time consuming. Okay, so I've worked it on the plate, and it turns out like that. Really thin, and so from there. I am going to place it in the freezer. Okay, so I'm getting prepared here for the burgers. I want to show you the stuff I'm putting on mine. Right here, I've cut up some tomato. You don't want them too thick, you don't want them too thin. I want a good slice of tomato. Usually I'll dice up the lettuce to strips, but this time I'm going to use these chunks of lettuce just to pull them off. We've got pickles, mustard ketchup, the buns, we got sesame seed buns, I'm going to butter the back ends of them, and I'm going to toast them for a second right there, and then I'm going to put it on this, because I'm going to wrap these motherfuckers fast food style, that's what I do, I'm just going to sit it like that, let me get the bottom part, Remember to scrape as you're doing this because you don't want globs of butter just sitting on it. Like that piece there. Oh, and the piece I just wiped on it. So, sit that down. Okay. Patties 
patties. There's our first set of patties in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And the reason you do this is because first, it's not going to fall apart while you're cooking it. That's the first reason. And two, it just cooks up easier all together. So I'm going to take one off. Holding this camera is making it difficult. Let me do this. All right. Okay, got one in there. Now both burgers are in there. The only thing you're gonna do is pepper. And salt. That's it. Just salt and pepper. Don't go crazy. Don't go doing garlic and all this shit. You can, and, and if you gotta have it, you gotta have it. Do it. But if you just want it, if you're trying to make you a good fast food style burger, salt and pepper. That's it. That's all you need. So let's watch these little babies cook up. Check on the other side of our buns. Not quite on that one. Ooh, that part looks good. Ooh, that one's done. Boom, baby. Our bottoms are done. Those are cooking. These are almost done. I'm gonna change this part over. As you can see, it's easy as fuck to cook. And let me tell you, seriously, if you like the taste of fast food burgers and you can't recreate it at home, this is how you fucking do it. I couldn't figure it out for the longest fucking time. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't make the burgers I tasted at the fucking restaurant at home. This is how you do it. The burgers people make at home, they're fucking big and thick and it's too much meat. You gotta have it like this. Meanwhile. Oh yeah, boy. Boom. Our buns are ready. These are close to getting ready to flip. But you want a crisp on the bottom of that. You don't want a burnt crisp. You just want a nice little char crisp. And I'm not ready for that yet. I got my cheese right here. This is Gouda, which tastes like a sharp cheddar, but it's not almost like a mild cheddar, maybe. It's delicious. Goes great for these burgers. I, ha I also have the Kraft Singles. You can use those. I've cut up chunks of Velveeta and put it on it. Cheese is cheese to me. It's good. But today I'm using Gouda. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a flip. Hey, you see that crisp around there? Boom. Both of them. Crisp. And that's how it's done. This is going to be a good fucking burger, dude. It's thin. It's pretty much cooked already. I can take it off right now and eat it, but I like my burgers well done. Got that crisp around it like I want. Now I've got two more burgers in the freezer to cook. I'm not going to do those for video. But I can tell you now, before you do it, if you make them four, you got to drain the grease off of there. Oh, that's going to be, it's going to be sitting in grease and boiling. First slice of cheese. Second slice of cheese. Now there's a trick, and this light isn't part of it. Let me figure this bullshit out. There's a trick to getting the cheese to melt quicker for you. What you'll do is take a little bit of water and put it around the burger and you cover the burger with like, say like a top for a pot or something and the steam will build up and melt your cheese. But my burger still had a minute to go so it'll melt easier that way. In the meantime, I'm gonna start making up this bun. So let's we'll take this, what I'm putting on it, Let's do a slice of tomato. I'll do the lettuce first. 
So let's do the lettuce. Let's do a slice of tomato. Let's go ahead and get this burger on the bun. That cheese isn't all the way melted yet, but when I put this one on top of it, it will be. Let me show you the burger. It's thin. It's a lot of grease, but, I mean, what do you expect? Let me get you a shot of these burgers down there now. Let me turn this off. Take it off the heat. Pickles. Okay. We got a pickle. 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 I'm doing four pickles. And I like to dig around there and find the thinnest ones. Pickle. Not everybody likes mustard and ketchup on their burgers. I do. I don't like onions, but you can do onions. Cut you up an onion in, in half and just take the strings. And there we go. Ketchup and mustard. Actually got a little ketchup on the side there. Oh well. And there you go. There you have it. Your burger is complete. I'm going to wrap it in a second. But I'm going to take a bite real quick. Restaurant quality. Really. Usually you're not going to be wrapped up with a bite in it, but I like to wrap my burgers for people. I couldn't wait. Got this other burger cooking, and I just had to have another bite now. I'm telling you, man. Legitimately, I don't always like my cooking, but this burger tastes like it came out of a restaurant. So, remember, only salt and pepper, freeze it a little bit, toast up your bun a little, get your condiments ready, and don't ever press down on it while I'm cooking. You don't want to squeeze the juice out. And hey, you want it a little healthier? Get the lean meat. Still good. I like this better. So, like, subscribe, all that bullshit. Make this at home. No bullshit. Make this at home. We're just going to be pissed off that she didn't wake up early. I don't need to go to fast food no more for burgers because I can make it at home. So, anyway, like, subscribe, favorite. See you guys.